Hey there, my name is Dev. And the way I got into computer science and machine learning was definitely a bit unconventional. So I want to share that story with you. From the advantages I had to the random side quest to the day everything changed. If you want the TLDR, I started off trying to be a doctor. I even got into medical school, but I turned it down to be a CS major. Right around the time, this guy started blowing up on social media. Not the greatest timing to switch to CS since the job market took a turn for the worse shortly after. For the past year, I've been growing this channel. I've worked with creators like Neatcode. We built an ML programming platform, and we even had 3Blue1Brown endorse it. It's been an amazing experience teaching AI to thousands of you over the last year and I'm excited to show you what I have this year. Journey actually started back in high school. I was lucky enough to take classes at Georgia Tech, the same place I went for college and my master's while I was still in high school. This gave me a head start on the math you need for CS, like linear algebra, multivariable, and graph theory. I always loved math, but for some reason, I wanted to be a doctor. Maybe it was cultural. In my community, being a doctor is seen as the pinnacle of success. Luckily, my parents never forced me into it, but there was always this unspoken nod towards medicine. But the truth is, the reason I didn't major in CS sooner is because I thought I wasn't smart enough. I took an intro to CS class in high school, but the teacher didn't even know how to code. The class was supposed to be about Java, but he couldn't even print Hello World. I struggled a lot in this class. I decided, you know what? Computer science isn't for me. I thought I was better off going into the medical field, which requires less raw intelligence, but a much stronger work ethic. And when you're brown, the career options are pretty binary. You go into tech or be a doctor. So I chose the second option. In college, I went all in on pre-med. I worked in hospitals, did chemistry research, and even got an early acceptance to medical school. But something fell off. If you've ever been in a phase where something feels wrong, but you just can't put your finger on it, you know what I mean. I was doing well in my classes, but I wasn't happy, right? Something felt missing. Then halfway through my sophomore year, everything changed. I was actually majoring in chemical engineering. Story for another time, I almost ended up working on an oil rig in Texas. This class was all about optimization algorithms like gradient descent, and I loved it. I did extremely well. So for the first time, I felt confident that I could code. But at the same time, I was working 12 hour shifts multiple times a week in an ER, in an emergency room, and I despised it. It was consuming my life, and I didn't really vibe with my coworkers either. If you've been in a similar situation before, you know that the people you work with can make or break the experience. Meanwhile, my CS friends were getting high paying tech internships and enjoying college. I was working minimum wage shifts and missing out on time with my friends, family, and girlfriend. I was getting pissed. I thought about changing my major to CS, but I was already so far along on the pre-med route. And if I switched to that point, I would be behind everyone else. So for the next few months, I debated this decision. I thought about just doing a minor in CS. I thought about how I could use my engineering degree. Oh, at one point I was learning how to trade crypto. But at some point I got tired of all the back and forth and decided, you know what? I think I'm that guy. I have all these credits from high school too. All those math classes I took, I just have to take the leap. So in the later half of my sophomore year, about halfway through the second semester, I withdrew from all my classes, temporarily left the university and changed my major to computer science. If you've ever been in a situation like that, where you're going back and forth on a big decision for a while, you know how it goes. Eventually one day, you just get sick and tired of all the back and forth. And you realize you just need to pick something, commit to it and not look back. I don't know if that's a good way to make big decisions, but I don't regret that one. There was one problem. Switching majors so late meant I couldn't register for any CS classes that semester. I wasn't enrolled in any classes at the university anymore. My only option was to self-study. So I did. For months, I studied data structures, algorithms, computer architecture, whatever I could to catch up with my friends who had been studying CS since they started college. And it was a lot of boring, hard work. I found out about r slash CS majors, the world of LeetCode, trying to get an internship, 
I think you know how the rest of that goes. I also spent a summer in Seattle, another one in the Bay Area before finishing my master's in machine learning. Fast forward a couple more years and now I'm building GBT Learning Hub. I love teaching, especially AI concepts, so there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. Okay, at this point, the video is probably getting longer than I want it to be, but I have so many more stories and lessons to share from my summers on the West Coast to my masters and more. If you're interested, let me know in the comments and remember, don't be a TensorFlow tippy.